Hey YouTube, hope you're having a great day. Um, I would like to share with you a dream that I had. Okay, um, I believe it was from the Lord. Well, it had to have been from the Lord. Um, and when I when I'm finished telling you, I think you'll you'll agree. All right, I had this dream in March of this year, March of 2014. Okay. It wasn't a dream. Of, it was a dream about uh, Obama, all right? Um, the dream was very. It was more like a vision, I would say, okay? Because um, the only thing that I saw was uh, I saw an image of uh, President Obama, Barack Obama, um, standing uh, on stage uh, behind a podium, okay? And and for some reason, there was there were flames in his eyes. I mean, li literal flames of fire inside of the pupils of his eyes. And that was it. I didn't see anything else. That's the only thing I had. So it was, you know, it was, it was. I would say it, was, it would be like almost like a vision because there was nothing else before that or after that. I just saw a vision of him standing there, or a dream of, of him standing there on the podium on stage with flames in his eyes, um, talking to the the audience. Um, um, the audience below. Okay, so uh, when I when I woke up, um, you know, I thought I was pretty weird. Um, you know, I I know that there, there have been people online who've posted their dreams about Baraka, but I've never had one about him before. Okay, um, and I wasn't sure what what flames what flames in the eyes represented, and I didn't want to jump jump to any conclusions. It didn't, it didn't seem like anything good. <laughs> You know, but I didn't know what it what it really meant. You know, so um, so what I did was, you know, I just, you know, I, I I checked, I went to the Bible, I checked a few scriptures, a few scriptures to see uh, exactly what that meant, uh, to see if there was if there was anyone in the Bible um, where the Bible mentioned that they had flames of fire in their eyes, to see if it can, you know, if there's some kind of comparison to see what the Lord is telling me. Um, but I didn't really find anything. I mean, I, I did find a scripture where where it mentioned Jesus uh, coming back in Revelation, and, and he he I think he appeared with flames in his eyes. But you know, I knew already that you know, based on what I, based on his politics, I knew Barack Obama is not like Jesus. So I I, I kind of you know I didn't really I, I you know disregarded that. I didn't really find anything that helped me out. Yeah, you know, I didn't really find anything useful. I did go online and I, I googled uh, what what it meant or you know. What flames and fire eyes, or what, what flames in the eyes represented, and uh, I did. I think I found something that's called, um, you know, uh, represented anger. But, you know, but again, nothing really, you know, nothing really solid. So I, I just left it alone. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't try to research it, research it anymore. Okay. So um, a week goes by. A following week goes by. Well, I did ask the Lord to show me what this meant. Okay, but after searching, I didn't find anything, so I, I let it go. So a week goes by, and I would say the following week, I have another dream. Okay, and in this dream, it, there's a lot of stuff happening, but I can the only thing I can I can remember from the dream is seeing the word all throughout all throughout the dream. This is really weird. All throughout the dream, I kept seeing the word uh, Omega Code, and then a symbol. Omega code symbol, Omega code symbol, over and over again in this dream. And what the, what the weird thing is, weird thing is, that's the only thing I can remember about this dream, is seeing the word Omega code over and over again, followed by this weird symbol. Okay, and now the the symbol, the symbol looked like um, it looked like a horseshoe. Uh, it was a horseshoe with um. With two lines on the bottom left and the bottom right corner of it. Okay, that's that's what I saw after over and over again after seeing the word Omega um, Omega Code. All right. So after I I got up and again, as soon as I as soon as I jumped up, I grabbed my phone, went online, and I searched for uh, what this could mean. I searched for the word uh, Omega Code. I couldn't search for the symbol because I didn't know how to describe it in Google, but I, I did. I searched for. I, I typed in Omega Code, and what I saw was I found a book. 
I think that's one of the first hits. It, it was a book called uh, Omega Code. I was shocked. And on the front of the book um, is the exact symbol that I saw in my dream, which is the horseshoe with the, the, the lines on the bottom left and the bottom right corner. So, you know, like, wow. So here's the book with exactly what I saw in my dream. Okay, with the symbol, with the symbol and the, the the name of the books, the Omega Code and everything. Okay. So, um, I, I you know I'm trying to get see if I can get the book or or at least, and I did find out there's there's actually a movie about this too. So, um, the morning goes by, or the day goes by, and the here here is the amazing part. The amazing part about this whole thing is. Is that, you know, I'm 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 hoping that I can get the book or see the movie or, or so I can know what this what this thing means. And it turns out that my wife had this book in in the basement for about eight years. Okay, so eight years earlier earlier someone had given my wife this book, so she had it in the basement, which is amazing. So at this point we know it's not it's this is this is all not a coincidence. This must be from the Lord. Okay, so I get the book. And I'm reading it, right? And I read the book, and the book, the Lord is, answers my prayer. He answers my prayer. Um, he answers my. He 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 gives me the answer to my first dream about Obama through the book. Okay, and I'm reading the book, and th this this is what the book says about. This is what the book says. Um, the book, um, uh, the book is, is basically about um, the end times, okay, and um, and it's it's written by uh, what's this, Paul Paul Crouch, he was the uh, the founder I think of T of the TBN Christian Network, okay, so um, and the part the part that where the Lord told me what the fire in the eyes represented is this, in the book it's describing the Antichrist, okay. And um, and it's it's describing the Antichrist as having f flames of fire in his eyes. Okay, this is this is on. If you buy the book, it's on page one ninety five of the book. Okay, and is and this on this page, the I guess devil uh, possesses him, and as soon as he possesses him and brings him back to life, flames appear in his eyes. Okay, so I'm I'm going to read this 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 part to you. It says, um, suddenly Alexander's eyes, Alexander is the Antichrist in the book. Suddenly, suddenly Alexander's eyes popped open, Demo demonic red flames dancing in, in his irises. Then with a blink, his eyes returned to normal. Okay. So, um, and if, and, and, and this is, this is the first time it happened, but once you continue to read the book, whenever something gets... Whenever something happens, or I guess the spirit, the devil in him, takes over, his eyes turn red, fiery red, and and it's interesting how the book described, you know, it was pupils, you know, his eye, his irises, um, his irises turned, you know, there were flames of fire dancing in his irises, and in my dream, that's how it was. I saw Obama with flames of fire, you know, in his eyes. Okay. So that that that's my confirmation. That was my confirmation from the Lord, that um, you know, it sounds weird. This sounds weird coming out of my mouth. That, but that was my confirmation that he, Obama is you know the Antichrist, the one mentioned in the Bible. Um, he's not he's not a Antichrist, or you know he's not someone who has an Antichrist spirit, but he is the Antichrist, the one. The one that's mentioned in Revelation in the end times. Okay. So now I know some of you might be saying I know a lot, a lot of people have posted videos on YouTube about of him being the Antichrist, but I've never had a dream about him being the Antichrist. Okay, and I know I know you might be hearing this and say, okay, well, you know, you probably uh, saw a couple of videos online of him being the Antichrist, and that's why you, that's why you're having a dream about him being the Antichrist, right? Simple as that. But how would I know that this book described that stuff? You see, so there was no way in the world that I would know a book 
a book named Omega Code with the same symbol would have this in there with the guy with the fire in his eyes. So that's that's no coincidence. That's a direct response from the Lord telling me who his who 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 he is. Okay? He is the Antichrist. Alright? So um yeah, that 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 was a that was a huge revelation, and the way you know the way the Lord the, the way the Lord uh, you know revealed it to me was even you know huge. I was just this is amazing. I had I had the book in the basement. My wife had the book in the basement, and in the book is the exact same thing with the fiery eyes, uh, with fire in his eyes that I had you know that showed the dream that I had the week before, answering my prayer to show me what this whole thing with the fire in the eyes meant. Okay, um, so I just thought I'd share that with you, um, you know, just as my confirmation, my only confirmation about Obama, okay, so, um, <clears throat> so what does that mean, what does that mean, Obama, you know, is the Antichrist, what that means is, according to the Bible, it says, I mean, that means that we're, we're, we are in the end time right now. End time is right now. Right at the door. Okay. And what that also means is that, you know, it's, I think it says in, uh, in, Thessalon in Thessalonians, in the Bible, it says that, you know, the Lord cannot return. He said, it says that day shall not come until that man of sin or that uh, the man of sin uh, be revealed. Right. Uh, I think it's a man of sin or the man of perdition. One of the two says, Jesus cannot come back until he is revealed. So, he's been revealed. He's been revealed to a lot of, a lot of Christians out there, a lot of believers out there already. Alright, and <clears throat> and I never, got, I never got a confirmation until now, until March of 2014. Okay. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means he's he's now fully possessed with <coughs> with uh, the devil. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know, uh, but I do know it means that he's the antichrist. But um, you know, uh, uh, so I just thought I put this video up there, uh, confirming um, that you know what the Lord showed me that he is the antichrist, the one. Uh, the one spoken about in Revelation. So we are in the end now. Okay. So, <clears throat> so and uh, you know his term his term is up in you know in 2016, right? So I'm ass I'm assuming I don't know. I'm just assuming right now that if something's going to go down, I guess it would have to go down before, you know, before he before his term is up. You know, in 2016. All right, so just something to chew on. You know, something to think about, uh, consider. So these next two years should be um, interesting. Okay. So um, and and if his term is up, um, I don't know. And he's still and if someone else gets elected as president. I don't know what that means. I can only go on what I. What I know, and what I know is that the Lord showed me directly through a book that I've never that I've never read before, that Obama is the Antichrist. Amazing. Okay. So okay. Um, thanks for listening. Um, I'll be posting some more some some other dreams that I've had in the past. Okay. So uh, um, I, I I welcome your comments. Um, I'll I'll put a, I'll put a few links below. Um, with um, showing videos of, of others that that have, that have had that have had revelations of Obama um, being the Antichrist. Okay, so that you know that we're we're not all crazy. Okay, um, if we're all having the same dreams uh, about this guy, I mean, what is that a coincidence? It would be not. A, I can't. I can't believe everyone's lying. Right? At least I'm not lying. But um, anyway, uh, thanks for listening.